join us on Patreon, and become part of our journey to uncover history's untold stories. Your support helps us create in-depth content, bring hidden narratives to life, and keep history alive for everyone. In every age of human history, the concept of safety has haunted our existence. From the earliest communities that built walls of stone to protect their families, to the villages that posted watchmen at night, and to the castles fortified against raiders, one question has remained eternal. How do we protect the home? The home, after all, has never been merely a structure of wood, clay, or brick. It has always been the place of dreams, the vault of memory, the sanctuary where life is nurtured and preserved. And yet, as long as homes have existed, so too have threats. Thieves, intruders, fires, and unforeseen dangers stalk families, leaving them vulnerable. For centuries, human ingenuity developed countless ways to secure spaces, but the idea of a home security system, as we now understand it, something that watches over, warns, and actively deters intrusion, was still a distant concept. Surprisingly, the breakthrough in what we call the modern home security system did not emerge from a corporate laboratory or a military workshop, but from the remarkable mind of a black woman in the United States during a turbulent period of racial struggle and social change. Her name was Marie Van Britten Brown, and her invention would shape an industry worth billions today. But the story of the first home security system is not just about her. It is also about the times she lived in, the history of protection within communities of color, and the enduring human need for peace within the walls of one's home. To understand how her mind birthed such a revolutionary idea, we must trace the world around her, the struggles she faced, and the overlooked traditions of innovation by marginalized peoples whose contributions have too often been erased. The America of the 1960s was a land on fire. The civil rights movement had erupted into full force, with marches, protests, and the violent backlash of segregationist America filling every newspaper and television screen. Racial inequality was not confined to the South. It existed in every city, suburb, and neighborhood. For African Americans, home ownership often meant living in communities that received little police protection, where crime was allowed to fester and violence went unchecked. For many black families, calling the police did not guarantee safety. It sometimes brought more danger. In this climate, the concept of securing one's own household became not just a practical necessity, but a political act of self-preservation. Marie Van Britten Brown, a nurse living in Queens, New York, carried this reality with her every day. She often returned from late-night shifts in an era when crime in urban neighborhoods was high. Her husband, Albert Brown, worked as an electronics technician, and their schedules often meant that Marie was alone or vulnerable during the nighttime hours. The fear of home invasion was real, not abstract. But unlike most who simply lived with that fear, Marie imagined a system that could give her power over it. She asked herself a simple but profound question. What if a person could see who was at their door without opening it? What if they could call for help at the push of a button or warn intruders they were being watched? These questions became the foundation for her historic invention. On August 1, 1966, Marie and Albert Brown filed a patent application for what they called the Home Security System Utilizing Television Surveillance. It was a design that seemed almost futuristic for its time. Their invention used a closed-circuit television system with a motorized camera that could slide up and down to view through four peepholes on the door. This gave the homeowner the ability to see visitors of varying heights, from children to tall adults, without exposing themselves to danger. The camera transmitted the image to a monitor inside the home, allowing the resident to view who was outside. But the Browns did not stop there. Their system also included a two-way microphone for communication, a remote-controlled lock, and most importantly, an emergency button that immediately contacted the police or security services. At a time when even color television was still a novelty in many homes, this device was nothing short of extraordinary. It was, in essence, the prototype for every video doorbell, intercom system, and security camera we take for granted today. Marie Van Britten Brown was not just solving a personal problem. She was addressing a wider social issue. For black families in America, the state often failed to provide basic safety. 
law enforcement was inconsistent, discriminatory, and sometimes hostile. To take safety into one's own hands was to reclaim power. The home security system, then, was more than a convenience. It was an invention born out of necessity, survival, and vision. Marie's patent was granted in 1969, and it laid the foundation for countless innovations in the security industry. Her design was cited by at least 13 other inventors and later patents, including modern iterations of home monitoring systems, CCTV surveillance, and even smart home technologies. The real genius of Marie Van Britten Brown's system lies in its anticipation of a world we now inhabit. Today, millions of homeowners install Ring, Nest, and other smart doorbell systems that allow them to see visitors through their phones, communicate remotely, and alert authorities instantly. These billion-dollar companies stand on the shoulders of the Brown's invention, though her name rarely appears in their marketing materials. The irony is stark. A black woman in the 1960s, whose community was denied safety, created the blueprint for one of the largest security industries in the world. But if we zoom out even further, we see that Marie's contribution belongs to a much longer history of black innovation in America. At every stage of the nation's technological growth, black inventors created solutions for everyday life, only to have their stories hidden or their contributions minimized. Granville Woods revolutionized communication in railroads, Garrett Morgan invented the traffic light and an early version of the gas mask, and Madam C.J. Walker built a beauty empire that became a model for black entrepreneurship. Marie Van Britten Brown joins this lineage as a mind that looked at the ordinary challenges of life and imagined extraordinary solutions. Her system also carries echoes of ancestral traditions of community protection. In many African societies before colonization, villages devised intricate methods of signaling danger and keeping communities safe. From drum languages that could carry warnings across miles, to watchtowers and coded calls, the spirit of protection was collective. Marie's home security system can be read as a modern descendant of these traditions, an adaptation of communal safety into the modern, urban, technological age. The late 1960s were also the moment when America was becoming more aware of rising crime rates, especially in urban areas. Politicians began to campaign on the promise of law and order, while simultaneously neglecting the social conditions that produce crime in the first place. Marie Van Britten Brown's system, therefore, intersected with a national debate. Should safety be the responsibility of the state, or should individuals take matters into their own hands? The Browns offered a third way, a technological solution that empowered individuals, particularly those most neglected by the system, to reclaim their sense of security. What makes her story remarkable is not only that she invented such a system, but that she did so without the resources typically available to inventors. She was not a corporate scientist or a university engineer. She was a working black woman in Queens, with limited access to capital or networks of power. And yet, her patent remains a cornerstone in the history of surveillance technology. The real mind behind the first home security system was not shaped by privilege, but by the lived experience of vulnerability, determination, and creative vision. Today, as cameras watch over doorsteps, motion detectors trigger alerts, and entire homes are connected through smart systems, we should remember that the seed of this technological revolution came from Marie Van Britten Brown's mind. Every time someone checks their phone to see who rang their doorbell, they are using an idea first born in the quiet fear and resilience of a black nurse who wanted to feel safe coming home. Her story is not merely about technology. It is about the human desire for dignity, peace, and control over one's life in a world that often denies it. The legacy of Marie Van Britten Brown also forces us to ask deeper questions about memory and recognition. Why do so many people know the names of companies like Ring or ADT, but not hers? Why do the contributions of marginalized inventors so often fade into obscurity while others profit from their genius? To recover her story is not just an act of historical correction, but also a reminder that the future is often written by those who have been overlooked. In the end, the real mind behind the first home security system was not just a technical innovator. She was a woman who embodied the human spirit's relentless pursuit of safety and peace. Marie Van Britten Brown saw what others did not, 
that the home was not fully a sanctuary until it could defend itself. And so, she built the eyes, the ears, and the voice of the modern home. Her name deserves to be remembered every time a homeowner feels secure because of a system she first imagined. For history is not only shaped by the generals, politicians, or tycoons. Sometimes it is shaped by a nurse working long shifts in Queens who refused to accept fear as her only companion and instead gifted the world with a vision of security that would outlive her by generations.